If I was asked to factor this equation, x squared minus 3x minus 28 equals 0, this is how I'd do it. First of all, I'd set up a skeleton equation like this here to guide my work. Then I would add the signs into my skeleton equation. Here I have a negative term and a negative term. So the middle term and the last term, they're both negative. So I'm going to put a positive and a negative like this. Then I'm going to find the factors of this last term, this negative 28, that are going to equal the middle term. So I'm going to write the factors of 28 here. So these are the factors of 28. And I can see really the only one that has that difference of 3 is 4 times 7. So I'm going to put a 7 here, since that's the bigger number and I want this to be negative, and a 4 here. Now I'm going to check my work with the FOIL method. So the first terms, x times x, inside terms, that's 4 times x, that gives me 4x. The outside terms, x times negative 7, so that's negative 7x. And then the last terms, 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. I can combine these here, since they're both similar, and I end up with x squared, negative 7x, and 4x is negative 3x minus 28. And that is what we started with. So we factored this equation, x squared minus 3x minus 28, correctly. Let's find the values now for x that would make this all equal to 0, make it a true statement, 0 equals 0. So we could say x plus 4 equals 0, then x would equal negative 4. Over here, we could say x minus 7 equals 0, and then we would end up with x equals 7. If you put negative 4 in for x and you did the math, all of this would equal 0. Likewise, if you put 7 in and you did the math, all of this would equal 0. So you know you've done that correctly. If you use the quadratic equation here, you get the same answers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 3x minus 28 equals 0. Thanks for watching.